The Jaguars All 25, presented by Sharpie. Number three, Jimmy Smith. I recently Googled best wide receivers not in the Hall of Fame. And up comes Andre Risen as one of them. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're going to put this guy in the same league with Jimmy Smith? Who the hell wrote this? Brunel in the shotgun will throw, go screen. Jimmy Smith will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Has a bit of time now being chased. Plants throws. He's looking downfield. He's got a receiver. And it is caught. Jimmy Smith at the five. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Jimmy throws a pass. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Guess who? Jimmy Smith. Smith's got a bit of 40. Smith inside. There he goes. He's across the field. It's a foot race 40. Smith 30. Smith 20. Smith 10. 5. Touchdown. 65 yards. Wide receiver Jimmy Smith was a dominant force for the Jaguars for 10 seasons. He holds every major receiving record in franchise history. There was a three-year span where Jimmy Smith was as good as anybody who ever played the game, including Jerry Rice. You look at that three-year span of numbers, Jimmy was unbelievably good. As far as a football player, man, oh man, this guy was this guy was Hall of Fame material. Jimmy Smith, what a receiver, uh, silky smooth, uh, had all the moves, had the speed, could make all the catches in his prime. He, he was uh, he, he was amazing. Now coming down the near sideline, looking for Jimmy Smith, and Jimmy makes the grab! Touchdown, Jacksonville! Jimmy Smith is a Hall of Fame talent. He was darn near uncoverable. There was a stretch in the late 90s where he was always open. Anytime he wanted to get past somebody, he could. The five-time Pro Bowler had nine seasons of at least 1,000 receiving yards. Big plays were Smith's specialty. Brunel takes the waist, high snap, drops the throw, looking left, turns and fires. Jimmy's got it with the first down and more. There he goes, 25-20, to the outside, 15. Kicks off a defender, 10-5. Touchdown, Jimmy Smith! Drops to throw, has time, fires the slant. Jimmy's got it this time, 35-30, middle of the field, 20. He's going to the 20-yard line. He's going to score. 10-5, Jimmy Smith, touchdown! Fires it down, he's got an open wide receiver, the catch is made, there goes Jimmy Smith, down to the 20, they won't catch him at the 10, the 5, Jimmy Smith, touchdown, 70 yards. He could beat you vertically, easy, all day. Mark Brunel said if anybody pressed Jimmy, it's game over. Jimmy could go from 0 to 60 in a blink of an eye, That he was that guy. He was so physically strong and fast that he never had to go into the middle of the field because he could win outside consistently because he was strong and he could run by people. It seemed like everybody thought he was running a 4-3 and he was running a 4-2. I don't know what the numbers were, but Jimmy played as fast as anybody I can remember getting deep. He had a way of getting past the defensive back uh, and getting open. He was a guy who, if you sent him deep, he was going to be open. The question was, was your quarterback going to see him or have enough time to get the ball down the field, because Jimmy Smith was open every play. Drop, pressure coming, turns and plants, he's looking for Jimmy Smith down the sideline, Smith gets behind the coverage, makes the catch! Touchdown, Jacksonville! Mark back to throw, pocket collapsing, steps, is being chased, lets the ball go for Jimmy Smith in the end zone, touchdown, Jacksonville! Oh, take that, take that! Smith was part of the greatest era of Jaguars football. They made the playoffs four straight seasons, including two AFC Championship game appearances. Big play, 35 from the 16. Takes the snap, turns, looking for Jimmy in the end zone. Touchdown, Jaguars! Touchdown, Jaguars! Touchdown, Jaguars! I think Jaguar fans will remember him with Keenan and Mark and Tony and Beckley. That era, we may never see an era like that again. He was a key, key player on those four playoff teams. You know, they don't go to the... They don't make four playoffs in a row without him. He was the go-to guy. An offensive is going to be great. It has to have a receiver that if you don't take him away, you will lose the game. If you didn't take Jimmy Smith away, if you didn't try to defend him in a unique way, then you were probably going to lose against the Jaguars. 12,000 yards. The milestone. I'm glad I'm getting it at home. Pressure coming. Steps up. Steps. Turns. Throws. He's got Jimmy. First down. 20. There he goes. 10. 5. Touchdown. Win! Jacksonville! Later in his career, off the field issues somewhat clouded Smith's legacy. But recently, he has turned his life around. I'm incredibly honored and humbled to be inducted into the Pride of the Jaguars today. 
In 2016, Jimmy Smith was inducted into the pride of the Jaguars, cementing his legacy in Jacksonville. I know Jimmy Smith uh, had his issues off the field, and I root for that guy more than anybody that I know because he's really, honestly, he was one of the nicest players that I've ever dealt with. Jimmy is still one of the most beloved players in Jaguars history, and that thunder and lightning combo uh, won't be forgotten by Jaguars fans. Snap drop back here comes the blitz for Nelson. He needs the ball. He's looking for Jimmy Smith, and it is caught. Jimmy Smith's got it. He's on the run inside the 10. Five. Touchdown, Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith is the third best Jaguar of all time. He's going for Jimmy in the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Jimmy Smith. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Jimmy Smith.